<laughs> Recording? Did you get that? <laughs> what a catch. How you going, you big bloody beautiful bastards? Here's me face. This Saturday I'm playing in a cricket match outside Government House. My time has come to do my country proud in a cricket match. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's for, it's for charity. And uh, yeah, I thought it would be fun just to film some footage because we haven't had many events in the world, really. The last random vlog style video I did was December 2019 in Mexico. These amigos hanging out, standing by the cactus. <laughs> right before the world went to shit. So yeah, it's time to get out there a little bit and start shooting again. One of my mates, Bunsters, is coming here in a minute. Maybe she can help me train. I'm a bit rusty, but I'm not, I'm not bad. Oh! <laughs> yeah. It's been really hard for athletes during the pandemic, like myself. Um, one thing I saw Roger Federer doing recently to stay sharp was hitting the ball against the wall in the hotel. I gotta hit it harder. So maybe I'll practice a bit of that. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. That's pretty much how he was doing it with his tennis racket. Shit. Oh. I don't know how many we got, but anyway. Oh, I did three. So my mate Bunsters has arrived and she's agreed to help coach me and get me ready for the big day. You ready, Bunster? Oh, damn it! Shit! Oh. You can trash talk me, see if I can handle you it. swear too much, you're gonna get cancelled! Leave it. Oh, ah. shit! Fuck! Oh. Training with Coach Bunster was tough, but it gave me the opportunity to discover all of my weaknesses before game day. Admittedly, I had a lot of weaknesses. In the end, I did manage to do a whopper of a hit, though. Ah! Top fielding. I reckon that's enough. So I've arrived at the event um, pretty early, I guess. I'm one of the, the first players here, but that's a sign of dedication, you know? If you're gonna be a professional, which I am, like becoming a professional cricketer, then you wanna be early when it comes to the big game day. You don't wanna be sitting around on your ass at home and be like, shit, I'm running late. No, no, yeah, I gave myself plenty of time to warm up and hydrating early is very important, even if it means you have to go piss about three to four times in an hour. Wash me hands, that's important. Pre-match we done. Every pro athlete will tell you how important that is. I'm ready now. Thousand and one, thousand and two, thousand and three. Oh, there's a helicopter. You know you've made it when a helicopter shows up to your events. It's probably here for the anti-vax thing going on, but I'm gonna pretend it's here for the cricket match. I got changed into me team uniform. I was gonna be playing for the governors. The actual governor of Western Australia, Kim Beasley, then told us the rules. He's like, ultimate backyard cricket is very different to regular cricket. I was still warming up, so I wasn't really listening, unfortunately, except for this bit. Then we've got the third combination will be, uh, we've got Justin Langer and Ozzy Man. That'll be the last pair in that first hour. Happy with that. <laughs> this time, Justin Langer goes over the top. Oh, and that one's been smashed away on the onside as well. Good, firm strike. Oh, this is the very best of Justin Langer. The Gov led us out to the field. Look how focused I am. So, so focused. I told Coach Langer what I reckon the best strategy is for the day. He agreed with 65% of my ideas, and he said my batting style reminded him of Adam Gilchrist's. We took our hats off for the Welcome to Country and National Anthem, and then it was time to play some ultimate backyard cricket.
get ready for this. Get ready, get ready. Look how many runs Langer and I score off this one. <laughs> Yeah, that's one, because I'm already down that end. Justin comes back. That's two. That's two runs off that. Oh, yeah, we can go again. That's three. There's three. One thing I learned fast was that Justin Langer just keeps running. Mate. Yeah, no, yeah. A memorable batting partnership in Australian history. Here's a fantastic highlight. One of the rules of ultimate backyard cricket is called one hand, one bounce. So if you catch the ball with one hand after one bounce, oh, I almost got it. Then the batsman would be out. Can I get a run out? No, I missed the wickets. Let's look at it in slow-mo. Really close. Nah, it was. I'm trying to use the force to make the ball come to me. And that hurt. Yeah, the landing really hurt. It was time for a break, but not for Aussie Man or David Janat. We had to undergo a battle of endurance against one another in a motorised esky race. Look at Davo popping a massive wheelie in the practice run. Okay, here we go for reels. Yeah, he's bloody quick. I reckon he won part one and he kicked my ass in part two, the hot dog eating challenge. He waited for me to catch up in part three and then popped another wheelie. All right, all right, I'm off, I'm off. Listen to that engine, what a beauty. I may have taken a bit of a shortcut. In the end, it was the Pirates that won the day. Cameron Green basically belted the crap out of everyone. Yeah, nah, I couldn't even get close to the ball again. Bam! Gone! Out of there. See, you wouldn't want to be ya. Ladies and gentlemen, you're winner of the Ultimate Backyard Cricket Game here at Government House. Cameron Green and Carmen Braithwaite! It was a super fun day. If you want to know more about the charity, go to the Pirate Ship Foundation's website pirateshipfoundation.com.au The link is in the post description and the comments. Cheers to Connor for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs>